listening to Mountain Stage on listener-supported public radio. A woman who was born and raised here in Charleston, West Virginia. You may know her as an actress on the TV series Anything But Love or in the movies, Making a Mr. Right, Desperately Seeking Susan, a lot of movies. She has, she's hosts her own show on the A&E Network. She does a lot of different things. Uh, most recently, she's done a one-woman show called You Could Be Home Now, which was done in New York and Los Angeles, and the other night it was done back here in Charleston, West Virginia. I think it's going to be made into a special for HBO, so you may be able to see it yourself wherever you are soon. She's going to do a couple tunes from that show. We're very happy to have with us Miss Ann Magnuson. Thank you. Okay, now I would like to hearken you back to an earlier age, back to a more innocent time, back when well, you remember, back when you used to feel all cuddly and warm and your PJs with the feet in them, and Mom would pick you up and take you upstairs and tuck you in and, and pick up her acoustic guitar and sing a sweet, kind-hearted, gentle lullaby. Attracted to your fresh face, uncompromised grunge, rebel stance, and I'd like to help you sing your tune. But I've been making friends with this here death, and it seems a mite too soon. So I sing, Hello, death, goodbye, Avenue A. I'm getting tired of waiting, tired of being afraid. Joseph Campbell gave me hope and now I have been saved. So I sing, hello death, goodbye Avenue A. Now don't get me wrong, I don't mean to be flippant or sarcastic or irreverent or ironic or postmodern or camp or trendy or elitist and this is not a parody. Get it? Got it? Good. I've been thinking what he told me, that it's okay to cry. When we held the crystal teen, a child spent 12 grand to buy homeopathic mantras, fresh squeezed wheatgrass juice. Doctors up in Bellevue, Doctor Salk and Seuss, and it's time we'll all be going home if you can find the way. Yes, everyone is going home, going home to stay, and it's time we find a way to cope, a way to find some hope. 
for some it's the Bible or Buddha or Muhammad or Krishna or cheesecake or bourbon or the battle servers or Nirvana or Pearl Jam or Giorgio or Mani or Rubio Shigley or Mark Jacobs or Perry Ellis and you really can't afford it but it looks so fabulous on you so why don't you take it on home <laughs> and speaking of home is it about time you moved out of that dump you've been living in or maybe you just want to quit that job you always always hated or, or maybe you just want to uh, get that little puppy you always wanted or hell maybe you want to just pick up a hobby you know like playing the guitar it's easy or uh, maybe you just want to get obscenely drunk at a piano bar and sing show tunes show tunes and hey don't be embarrassed because man I gotta tell you at this point I'd rather see Brigadoon than well than just about anything with Michael Douglas in it or maybe you're tired of dragging your sagging butt around the nightclub scene where everybody is 10 to 15 to 20 years younger than you are and you're on your 10th margarita that you got at the complimentary open bar at that Amphar benefit and you're thinking to yourself it might be time to start heading home and then you look around you and you realize you are home and you've turned into a character in an Anne Rice novel, you know, the vampire that won't die and you're forced to watch every succeeding generation do exactly the same stupid things you used to do, even wear the same stupid things you used to wear, like bell bottoms and clogs and chokers and fringe vests and those modified clute gypsy shag hairdos, and why can't those twenty nothings get their own goddamn trends anyway, huh? Oh, you know why, because it's the end of the world and uh, there are no more original ideas left and we just have to replay the past over and over and over and over and over again until the meteor hits and plunges us into another ice age. But until then, maybe you want to do something constructive with your time. So you decide to get yourself with some religion. Well, then you decide you better just get politically active. Yes, it's time for all of us to get involved, to roll up our sleeves and help Bill balance the budget and help Hillary reform, reform the health care system and, and help Al clean up the environment and help Tipper lose those last difficult 15 pounds. And I want to help. I do. I want to get involved. I want to grab a broom and help Edward James almost clean up the inner city streets. But you know what? Who's got the time? I mean, you know, if you're like me, you're hustling your ass off just to make ends meet, and now they're going to hit us with these new taxes, and oh, God, you know, it was a hell of a lot easier just to bitch about the Republicans screwing everything up, especially when you're a folk singer. Or maybe you just want to do heroin. It's back, and it's better than ever. But maybe you just want to blow your brains out. That's quicker. Or maybe you want to get born again. Or maybe you just want to join Atheists of America, the Madonna Click Club. Or maybe you just want to uh, follow Richard Gere as he follows the Dalai Lama halfway across the world. And then he makes those oh-so-zen-like movies, those oh-so-zen-like messages like, Hey, it's fun to be a prostitute. Yeah, you know, I can't wait to spread my legs across Hollywood Boulevard because maybe some rich, handsome man in a jag will come driving back by and, um, I don't know, take me shopping on Rodeo Drive. And that's what a woman's all about anyway, right? Sucking and shopping, sucking and shopping, sucking and shopping, sucking and shopping. Come on, it's a sing-along. Sucking and shopping, sucking and shopping, sucking and shopping. But hey, who am I to judge? Who in the hell am I to cast stones? Because it was the feel-good movie of the summer. It was the feel-good movie of the year. It was the feel-good movie of the 90s. It was the feel-good movie of the millennium. And if it puts a song in your heart and a spring in your step and a smile on your face, well, gee, whatever makes you happy, 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 whatever gives you hope, even if it's a truly tasteless joke. So, facts, a manifesto, pencil in a date, let me know when something gives a Tired of being afraid Joseph Campbell gave me hope And now I have been saved So I sing Hello death Goodbye have a new age Hello death Goodbye have a new age Hello death
Thank you. That song is dedicated to um, all my friends who have died of AIDS and to everyone who is suffering from it. And please, I ask